Global Forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain starts now. All right, some relief from the heat is on the way, but it's really not going to last that long. No, it's not. It's going to be uh, one and done, basically, which, I mean, even that's a blessing because in July, it usually doesn't get very cool outside. But it's been hot for the past few days, and so any relief we can get is wonderful. In fact, over the past little while, it's been in the 90s for about four days now. Several, several of us actually hit the 90s today. As we get through the rest of your evening should stay relatively dry for the most part. Once you get into those early morning to mid morning hours on Sunday, that's when we really expect the big change to occur. Overnight low of about 73. Pretty good outside. We do have high pressure off to the west, high pressure off to the south, low pressure situated over the Midwest as that starts to make its way off off to the east. You can see the cold front that's going to sweep on through. Bring us our next round of showers and storms. Also our next round of severe weather, and this was really not the case. It wasn't looking that good the other day. The Storm Prediction Center, the SPC, actually upgraded that risk and extended it into parts of the mid state. So now we're on in potential for damaging winds, maybe some localized flooding. All of those things will be on the table come Sunday. As for the rain threat itself, well, by the time you get to the afternoon and evening hours, that's when the bulk of this rain is going to be in our neck of the woods. So it'll be something to watch out for for sure. Could start as early as the morning time on Sunday, and then we'll be tracking that throughout the day. You get through the evening, things start to quiet down just a little bit. That will be good for us. And then, of course, you head into your Sunday. By the late hours, things are really starting to calm down. Now, there's a little bit of a chance Monday for some rain uh, to starting off kind of in the western parts of the mid-state. In terms of totals, this is kind of an interesting question because we got over an inch of rain yesterday in Harrisburg. Today, no dice. We didn't get any rain at all. But if we can get another inch, I, I think that's all the better for us. We're already above average in terms of the amount of rain that we should have for this time of year. The more rain that we can get at this point, the better. The better we can fight off these totals. Remember, it hit 89.90 today. We are on tap for a much drier uh, period afterwards. But in the meantime, Again, we're trying to fight back against the drought. Temperatures are not going to stay mild for long. We warm back into the 90s heading to next week, 81, 82 to start. And then as for next week, kind of going back to that hot again, we do not uh, have much of a break. Kind of as Taylor mentioned, we're only in the low 80s for about two days. Then things really start to heat up again. But of course, enjoy that while it lasts and then crank up the AC heading into the midweek of next week. Jared.